back with another skill builder help desk and this time we've got a lintel that needs replacing paul fennec has sent this one in so let's have a look at what paul's got now he's got this old lintel this is a bit of a steel lintel not the galvanized sort it's just kind of painted if you like and um it's uh, seen better days as you can see and cracking away there so he wants to replace it but there's always a but isn't there what he's wondering is if you look at where this lintel is he's saying he wants to put a galvanized steel lintel in there now if he puts a galvanized steel he said the, the, the internal one is fine by the way the internal one's a concrete one so this is a cavity wall so he's got two separate lintels absolutely fine so he just wants to replace this outside one so what he's concerned about is this bit here now if he puts his steel lintel in there and beds it onto uh, the mortar there whether he's doing this job himself or not i don't know but let's assume that he's not and that he's getting a brick layer in because he's going to be quite tricky sometimes to to get right uh, i recommend Stephen alex Stephen alex uh, you could do this couldn't you they do loads of lintel replacements watch their youtube channel and you'll see just how they go about this sort of job so what he's saying is if he beds his new steel lintel on there then he's going to have a thick bed on that bit between the soldier course and the lintel it actually looks nice if you can keep these soldier courses as if they were soldier courses back in the day what they used to do is they used to arch these so there was no lintel involved it was the good old roman arch that left the thing all in compression and stopped this brickwork here collapsing i'm suggesting that this soldier course here would stay put he would be putting his lintel in just on there but he doesn't want a big thick bed of mortar there and obviously he wants that lintel up against the underside of those soldiers so how you do that is you actually take out this brick here on both sides you would take out another brick so you would take out that brick and that brick all the way along carefully cut out you can drill them out with an SDS drill and then just remove them then you'd be able to push the new lintel in which is only like an L-shaped piece of galvanized steel going through there keystone lintel or IG lintel something like that you pop it in there push it up there's a, a void here because it's a cavity wall there's a space there between the two walls so you can push that lintel up behind the brickwork here unseen and it will be supporting those bricks going through there and it will be resting on that brick there and that brick there when they go back so you prop the thing up maybe put an acro under it just to push it tightly into place maybe a little bit of mortar just to take up any discrepancies ah the other thing is of course always put the old damp proof course on the lintel that's something a lot of builders don't bother to do but you should actually lay a bit of damp proof course membrane over the lintel before you push it up and then that allows uh, a bit of protection from the galvanizing just good practice basically once that's done the bricks go back in so what he's saying is okay i'll have a bit of steel in there then the steel would be running across here so he said i would finish up with a really thick bed of ugly mortar on there and on there but you wouldn't because what you do with this brick is you get an angle grinder and you cut the back of it away so that it gives room for that steel lintel but sometimes just put a groove in it actually is enough just to slot it in and i would suggest that this brick here is only a half brick the way it looks if you look at it it's broken away there there's a bit of steel going through there so that bit of steel is resting on this brick so that one is only a, a slither of brick so that'll come out very easily i should imagine and then unless you can find something better looking than that one uh, pop that one back in place but they're not great looking bricks are they you know what if i was a bricklayer i'd be very depressed having to work with that crap all day long sorry boy i didn't mean to say that it is a nice house actually look it's got sash windows it's just these bricks they're just so uninspiring aren't they look like a flitting never mind so that's my take on it you ain't got too much trouble there my friend that's probably a day's work for a bricky make a nice job of it i wouldn't attempt it myself i wouldn't do it i've done a bit of brickwork in my time a bit of pointing in my time but i just kind of find those to make that look nice no maybe i would attempt it actually there's not much is it it's that brick there that brick there and that one yeah i could probably do that i could probably make that look as good as this basically i wouldn't improve on it though i'm roger bisbee come back and see us soon i'm rambling on here aren't i time I went for a lie down.